Hello students, now we are going to discuss about the clinical studies, right? So now this is the time that what is the kind of clinical study it go on with the new chemical entity or with the new drug, right? So there are basically two types of clinical studies, observational studies and the clinical trial studies, right? So here under the observational studies, there are five types which we, which will be go on with the particular disease or during the pandemic also we have seen that and clinical trials are when we are developing the new drug or new vaccine, right? So in that way, right? So the observational study, the first one case study or case series. Second one ecological studies. Third one cross sectional studies. Fourth one cross control study. Fifth one cohort study. Coming to the clinical trial side, phase one, phase two, phase three and phase four studies, right? So let us try to understand that what these uh, observational and clinical study it is under the clinical study go on the first one case study or case series so under this new and unusual cases we are going to select right and generate the hypothesis about the cause of disease right so it here we are not going to do any trial right we are going to observe that uh, how the suppose in the covid 19 the first variant came then we have to select that it has come into the wuhan and uh, what is the kind of things it is going on how it may be caused where from where it has come and so on right second one is the ecological studies right ecological study as the name indicate ecology right so the rate of disease or condition for the group of people like the Chinese people, how they have uh, affected by the particular virus or particular variant, then when it comes to the Iran, Iraq, uh, UK, US, India, Pakistan and so many other countries. So that we are when we are uh, rate of disease and condition when we are observing in winter season, in summer season. So that comes under the ecological studies coming to the cross sectional studies, right? As the name is cross sectional, right? So snapshot of many people at one moment in time, right? It we have seen in the during the pandemic now it will be very easy to understand that uh, at the same time in the winter season in some country it is coming to the third uh, third wave somewhere it is in first wave or somewhere uh, first wave it is coming very late and the second wave come very earlier so it depends on so many factors it is involved in the life right from the temperature of the particular location the people of the their immunity their lifestyle their uh, susceptibility and so many things it is also that we are when we are observing it comes under the cross sectional cross control study here once one more thing you have to understand control word it is having more important group of people any group of people with, uh, with it is compared with the control group of people those who don't have control group always we are keeping uh, without diseased animals or without diseased people like those who have not affected by the that particular variant of covid 19 so uh, how we how what is the kind of symptom they are developing and these people are not so that we can compare that's what right so control group uh, when we are crossing then we are having the sufficient data to predict the, the severity of the particular case cohort study it is large group of people we are using here and observed over the time particular over the time like uh, after the after vaccination what is the condition how often it is coming now again if the COVID-19 uh, cases are increasing uh, so the, it may be fourth wave also in somewhere so uh, like that the study when we are uh, completely based on the observation uh, we are observing the things what is going on that is called uh, also observation uh, coming the in the clinical studies coming to the clinical trials of phase 4 study already we have discussed uh, once again let's, let us have the review phase 1 uh, we are uh, <coughs> basically we want to know the safe of the particular chemical entity side effect whether it is giving or not and what is the kind of dose we can uh, predict uh, or we can give to the healthy human volunteer remember in phase one less than 100 40 to 100 healthy human volunteer we are giving which is oh, those who have uh, don't have the any kinds of disease uh, the drug is meant for the particular disease so that disease is not there basically here we want to know about the any side effect and dose we are going to decide phase two continue monitoring the side effect and number of patient 
here we are using the patient here we have used the only healthy human here we are using patient the number will increase 100 to 500 right so uh, again the um, side effect monitoring it will be continue in phase 3 also the efficacy and side effect monitoring it will be continue efficacy of the medical approach we are basically we want to know here whether it is giving the activity on to on to the people or not uh, and here we are increasing the numbers uh, uh, with the patients only the it will be it is going to have in not in 100 in the thousand 1000 to 5000 patients so uh, we'll be having more data and more results so that we can predict whether it has to go for the uh, manufacturing or production or not so that we can go for marketing that uh, the for phase four is the post marketing surveillance and marketing during marketing or during the when the drug has come into the particular doses form now the uh, physician started the prescribing the drug it is into the market now people seizing the thousands of people they are going to use during that period also there may be the so many adverse event that we are going to uh, mar uh, observing and gathering the information about the drug about its side effect about its efficacy and so on so right so uh, in these two uh, basic point you can uh, write down the clinical studies that is the observational studies and the clinical trials thank you